thank you for those the family and this nation. For who is a great man. And as I said earlier, that will be remembered in this country as probably the greatest president we have ever had. Mwai Kibaki changed the course of Kenya's history. He gave us freedom and ensured that it exists. We got a new constitution under Mwai Kibaki. We got a brilliant and great economy. We got to understand that we are valuable. When he parted as president of the Republic of Kenya, Kenya felt good about its existence. The people in this country had a feel good in them. They were proud of their nation, they were proud of their government. We must try and bring back that feeling. That is the intention of my presidency, to bring back the feeling we had when Mwai Kibaki left us. We felt good about our country, we felt good about the government, we felt good about ourselves. We were patriots true to heart. We were hopeful. We knew that this was a country that would fulfill dreams for each and one of us and our children and our grandchildren. That is the spirit we must rekindle, especially now in his memory. I ask the whole country to pray for his family, condole with them, and to show them your outpouring heart for this great, great son of this nation. Mwai Kibaki, we love you, we'll always love you, and we shall miss you. Thank you to you people of the fourth estate who seem very clear on trying to create a two-horse race. Please, Wananchi, they don't chagua horses, they chagua leaders. We are going to the ballot, and my anticipation is that there will be three people on the ballot. I will be Jimmy Wanjigi of Sapine Party Itweka on that ballot. Thank you. We have no reverse, we have no surrender. And I want to be categoric. The mandate of my party, because we are here to open a branch office, Mashinane, donated by the people of Starehe, led by Bishop Mordecai, who is behind me here. I can tell you, the mandate we have, you can see my Secretary General is here. The MDC gave me one mandate, to go to the ballot as their presidential nominee. And there are no pre-election coalitions we are forming with anybody. We have post-coalition, maybe, but pre-election, no. So please anticipate, there will be three people on the ballot, and the strongest one on that ballot will be Jimmy Wanjiki, Itweka, Safina. Big Secretariat, and uh, we have open offices. We'll be coming to our official launch of our new offices, um, somewhere in this city of Nairobi, uh, in the Lovington area. Uh, that's the presidential secretariat. But as you know, as a party, we are now opening up branches everywhere. This is the first. And I want to tell you what is so heart feeling is the fact that people are donating. This is a donation. And there are going to be many others like this because we are receiving many donations from people across the country to open up offices. We had an NDC on a Monday. The OR, the office, the deadlines, the deadlines, the deadlines for closure of membership was just five days after our NDC. And I can tell you we got over 300 aspirants. I can tell you that right now we have on our doors close to over 1,000 people that want to come as aspirants. We are hoping that the courts will open up uh, that deadline. I think there's a ruling at the end of next week. We hope it will open up because I can tell you everybody is now flooding our doors, flooding our offices at Park Towers to ensure that they come into this boat that is going to save this Afina, that is going to save Kenyans from the floods that are going to sweep those that have done us an injustice in this nation. The Safina boat is Noah's boat. It is the one that is going to save Kenyans from the floods that are coming to sweep every single person that has made our lives so painful, so, so painful. Their time is over. It is now the Itweka moment. As I have apprehension and fear with the IBC. The IBC seems to be getting rules 
and templates from elsewhere. This is the same IEBC that had a nullification in 2017 on the basis of illegalities and irregularities. The same chairman, I think two or three of the same commissioners are still there. And this country has yet to see an audit report of that election. I am very apprehensive. Uh, I don't know, maybe all of you know more than I do. But uh, the systems, I'm sure, that were there are still the same. The methodology is still the same. And nobody has told us exactly what went wrong. You can see up until today, the server has never been open. Never been open. But even cases that are going to court on the server are being thrown out. So we don't know what hand or whose hand this all is. I, as any other Kenyan, are very apprehensive about IEBC and its leadership. And its leadership. Look at the new regulation they say that by April 28th we must have our running mate. Where is that in any statute, in any law, in any provision, in any regulation? It says the party presidential nominee shall be presented, not the running mate. The running mate is not the party's business. It is the presidential candidate's business. And it is very unfortunate that you're seeing these people, like they want to keep shifting goalposts here. We are not going to allow them. The Constitution is very clear. The supreme will of the people must be heard and must be done. It is the people that decide. It is the people that are going to decide August 9th. Not a few officials sitting in offices here. Santisana.